After installing those curtains, I now know that Sean Boino has an eye for style. Let's see if he gets even more style points with a makeover on this baby blue bathtub. There were tons of these bathtubs and bath fixtures installed in the 50s, 60s, 70s. So what we're going to do today is we're going to convert this. We're going to bring it to the current modern day age with a new white finish. Okay. We're going to do before and after shots. So we're going to keep this side blue and we're going to paint this side white. Everybody loves a good before and after, so I'm excited to get started. That is until Sean says this. It's a really tricky project. Tricky? Oh boy. If you don't follow the directions very carefully, the project will not turn out. So I've got to warn you that you got to be really careful. And you're an expert handyman, but yet you still have the directions laid out on the table. I've got them right here and we're going to read them. We're going to make sure that uh, my memory serves me right. This project doesn't call for any tools, but it's pretty supply heavy. To clean this tub, you'll need a bucket, sponge, and a heavy duty cleaner like this TSP we picked up from Ace Hardware. You'll also need plastic tarps, painter's tape, a face mask, gloves, triple zero steel wool, and a spray on epoxy. We've already done an initial cleaning of this bathtub. So we've scrubbed this down with a TSP substitute, okay? Uh, Tri-sodium phosphate, so we've got that cleaned up. And now the next step is going to use a steel wool. Okay, we're gonna scrub the surface and make sure that it's ready to accept paint. So get some gloves on. And what I want you to do is uh, take the pad of steel wool and just make a circular pattern. And you can see, look on the pad, just that little bit of buffing I've done so far, you can see residue of the paint yep. and the finish on the pad. So we need to wipe out all the residue that we created. So let's go ahead and just wipe it out with some warm water. And the good thing about doing this at the tub at home, you can just turn the water on then, right? Yes. In order to make sure your tub is squeaky clean, you're going to want to repeat these steps two more times. Clean it, buff it, wipe it down. Now that the cleaning is finally over, we protect the surrounding areas with painter's tape and our plastic tarps. Remember, we're covering half of the tub with plastic to show off the before and after, but at home, you'll cover your fixtures, floor, and tape along your wall. This is uh, sort of like using spray paint, and you have to be really careful not to spray the paint too close to the tub, otherwise most of these paints will give you like a peely finish that okay. you're not going to want on the tub. So we're going to keep the can somewhere about 10 inches away from the tub. Be really careful at home. Just make sure that the area is well ventilated. Windows open. Open some windows. Bath fans sure. going. So uh, let's get our masks on first. Got to make sure that you shake the paint really well. For in this case, we have to shake it for about a minute. All right, Sean, that's it for the first coat. We did get a couple drips. Yeah, we have to make sure that this nozzle stays clean, and I think we'll avoid those. The second coat should sit on there pretty nicely. All right, Sean, it looks great. Why don't we go catch some fresh air 15, 20 minutes and come back? All right, Sean, the first coat seems to be dry. Why don't we put on coat number two? We've put two coats of paint on the tub, and it looks like it's covered really well. And uh, we're not going to touch any of this blue painter's tape for 72 hours. We okay. really want this paint to dry. And then I don't want anybody using the tub for at least three days. Baby blue is now bright and white. Well, at least one half of the bathtub is. But you can complete this project in a weekend and for less than $50. This is definitely a DIY worth trying if you're looking to add some value to your home. Anytime you do work in your bathroom, you can't go wrong.